All right, so my plyo workouts have sort of been inconsistent recently because of my knee pain. And after dealing with my knee pain for a while and slowly building up to be able to do an actual plyo workout, this is what I'm currently doing to start having my tendons adapt to jumping again and releasing energy and absorbing energy. And this is also a good plyo workout for beginners and for those who are just starting their vertical jump journey. And also for those who are coming back from knee pain and have gone through the first two steps of tendon rehab, which are isometrics and isotonics. And if they're ready for plyometrics. So after a good warm up of isometrics and some skips, I do standing vertical jumps. Here I'm doing it at about 80-90% to 90 of my max effort since there's still some lingering pain in my knee but soon I'm going to be able to do this at 100%. 4 sets of 5 reps. I got a 36 inch box beside me to see how high I'm jumping. My max standing vertical is 35 inches and it looks like that I'm jumping at about 33-34 to 34 inches in these jumps which isn't too bad. I also like doing these single leg box jumps. Since I got knee pain and only one knee, my left knee, there might be some imbalances in them so I want to get equally strong concentrically to be able to handle more load. I'm doing 4 sets of six reps on each leg by jumping on a box i'm getting rid of that landing part which puts a lot of load on the knees especially off one foot and that's what this next exercise is for depth landings which is jumping off of an elevated platform and absorbing the impact once you reach the ground and this is going to work on the eccentric strength of your lower body because you're trying to decelerate your body from the landing this is also going to teach your tendons how to handle absorbing more force here i'm jumping off a 36 inch box and then i eventually go to jumping off a 42 inch box then i try jumping a little higher off a 42 inch box which is probably about 50 inches in the air so the whole point of doing this is to be able to handle landing from a height that is higher than your vertical so that landing from your highest vertical is light work to you of course build up to doing these heights don't start jumping from 50 inches right away because i started really small when i had knee pain four sets of five reps for these and i do like adding at least one exercise for ankle stiffness during a plyo day these single leg pogo jumps are that something i realized pretty recently is that my left calf is significantly weaker than my right calf and my tendons on my left side are not as stiff as my right side with stiff tendons we're able to jump a lot higher during a pro jumps so i'm doing a single leg pogo so i can even out the imbalances in my ankles and my calves but bilateral pogo jumps are good as well i do these four sets of 20 reps on each leg focusing on not letting my heel touch the floor and springing up as fast as possible i'm doing 20 reps because these are extensive plyos meaning they're not as intense and don't require as much effort to perform as something like squat jumps then i ended off with run up box jumps on a high box to work on my technique the purpose of jumping on a high box is again to remove the landing part so i don't put too much load on my knees too quickly while also letting me jump at a high intensity I'm jumping on a 54 inch box here which is pretty high so I still gotta use high effort to jump on this. I really want to take it slow on these plyos and start jumping again. Since I haven't had a jump session in a while I wanted to include some type of penultimate step work which is why I'm doing this. So I'm putting in a good amount of effort to jump on this box while not putting my knee through too much. I did this 4 sets of 4 reps. I really want to take it slow on these plyos and start jumping again because before my plyo workouts were a lot more intense than this. But the good thing is I'm going through this plyo workout with minimal to no pain. This is a good plyo workout for beginners and if you're just starting out the boxes don't have to be as high as the ones in this video start really small and build up from there let me know if you guys have any questions about this workout this is not a crazy intense workout unless you're a beginner but if you're in a similar situation as me where you're trying to rehab from knee pain and you're ready for some plyos do these and let me know how it goes all right peace